Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create some calls to action in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. When it comes to marketing videos, one of the most critical elements is the call to action. This is the element that encourages your viewers to take a specific action, such as subscribing to your email list, uh, taking a survey like in my example here, downloading trial software, or making a purchase. Call to actions aren't just for marketing videos, however. You can also use them in training videos, product demonstrations, and even personal videos. When it comes to video, there are two basic types of call to actions, your standard ones and clickable ones. A standard call to action is simply the text that you see on the screen that tells the viewer what to do. So what you're looking at right now, that's just a standard call to action. A clickable call to action is an element that the viewer can click on, such as a button or an image, and that will take them to the desired area. So if you're telling them to download software, if they click the button on the video, it will take them to the download page. Clickable call to actions do have the advantage. Well, first of all, they're interactive and they're easy to use. They're right there on top of the video. So the viewer does not have to scroll down and look for a link. They just see the button and they click it and then they go to wherever it is you're directing them to go. When you create a video in any video creation software, including Doodly, you don't necessarily have this feature where you can create clickable links within your video. This is something that's handled at the video player level. So if you use a video player such as Voomly, for example, or Wistia, or even YouTube supports some, some clickable links, that is where you create them in your video player, not in your video creator. I will show you an example of how to use Voomly to create clickable links. Voomly is made by the same developer that makes Doodly. So I'll do a real quick demonstration of that so that you get an idea of what's involved. So let's get started. You can see here that I have a very basic standard call to action. I'm telling the viewer that if they take the survey now, they'll get 30% off their next order. That's pretty good, but what it's doing is telling them the benefit last and we're kind of losing the urgency to take the survey now. My first thing that I want to do is change this around. We're going to tell them get 30% off your next order. Okay, so now I am telling them the benefit so they know why. Oh, hey, if I take, yeah, if I do this, I'm going to get 30% off my next order. So that's great. And then the next logical step is to take the survey now. Okay. So we're telling them in the order. So the very last thing is the action that we want them to do. So take the survey now. So how are we going to take the survey? This is a standard one, right? Remember, we're not creating a clickable link because we're just making a video and you know maybe we're showing it on Facebook or whatever. So we need to tell them how they're gonna do that, right? We can actually type in the URL. So let's just say, You'll notice I'm trying to keep my URL as simple as possible because it's not clickable. So they're going to have to write it down or type it in. So it needs to be short and sweet and memorable. Okay. So I'm going to do acme.com forward slash survey. Okay. So it's getting there now. It's still kind of boring and it's starting to be a lot of text, isn't it? One thing we can do is use some color. So, we want this to stand out, right? So let's see if we click the little gear icon, we can change it. And maybe if we use green, that might stand out. Green is good because it signifies go. And that's kind of plain, but it's, it's looking better. Maybe we use a more prominent font for this part. And that's looking a little bit better. Another thing that we can do is to jazz it up a little. Let's take this character and her text. And maybe we do something here to make it more interesting. So 
Let's do the get 30% off with her. And now it's starting to look a little bit more interesting and the call to action is very prominent. And then it's pretty obvious what we want them to do. We want them to go to acmesurvey.com. We could add an arrow to make it even more obvious. Take this one. Now, another tip is to make your call to action big. So this is already pretty big. We can make it even larger. And let's move, all right, we're gonna move some things around. Since I'm using this little computer monitor, I'm limited to just how large I can go. But I could also incorporate a zoom camera movement if I wanted and just have it really zoom in at the end. And I think I'll do that in just a moment. Okay, I think I have my order and timing how I like it. Let's take a quick little preview just of the, this final scene here. And that's pretty good. And then let's do that camera move that I was talking about. You see right here your pan and zoom tool. You just want to right click in the timeline and click add panning and zooming. And then you just double click in it. And it starts just the way it is. And then here's our ending and we just want to zoom in. And then you can stretch it to make it a slow zoom if you'd like. I think that's fine. I'm going to hit show preview and we have to figure out where we want this to move. All right, here's the movement, okay? But at what point do we want the camera to move? So take the survey now and then the arrow comes on. And as he's drawing that arrow, I think that would probably be a good spot to start the zoom. So I'm going to move over to right as he starts drawing the arrow. And then I'm just going to slide this over. So now if we preview our scene, here comes our girl. Here's her little note, get 30% off. Take the survey now. And then it just zooms in. And something like that. I'm going to go ahead and export this and we'll put that into Gloomly in a few minutes and make the clickable call to action. So I'm just going to do a 720 and I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now what if you're not using a clickable call to action and you just want to put it on your web page and have or YouTube or even Facebook and have the link in the text just below. So you want to actually have an arrow pointing outside of the video. So here's something that we could do. Let's delete this arrow. Actually, we'll keep this arrow. We're just going to make it point down here, down below like that. Then we can delete this URL because it's going to be, you're going to type it in in your actual description that goes alongside the video. So we're going to do that and then we could even change this text up a little bit, make it even larger. So now you have the call to action and you're telling them, go down there, okay, go down below and click to take it. I'm now in Boomly, and as I mentioned earlier, this is made by the same company that makes Doodly. And what I want to do is import my video. I just drag and drop it. I'm just going to take it a moment to upload it. Okay, here it is. So let's go ahead and click on this. And you'll see we have our little uh, preview here. And I want to click Configure Player. So now I have my video. And we're going to pretend, you know, I have a, a long, a longer video that's talking about how wonderful this survey is and blah, blah, blah. I want to go over to my call to action, which is over here. If I were doing this for real, I'd probably not actually have the URL written in Doodly. I'd probably just leave that blank, but we'll just go ahead and go with this. Okay. So right about here is when I want my clickable call to action to come on. So I've got my playhead right where I want it. And I am going to do a button. Just 
going to drag it into the timeline and you'll see this button appears and I'm going to click it and I'm going to change the name to take the survey to change it, the color to green move it down And then over here on on click right now it says do nothing well we are going to click open url and then we're going to type in whatever the address is i'm going to leave it let's what did we say acne.com forward slash survey this is just a fake site so i don't know if it's real or not but i'm just going to put that there for our example and then i hit save and then I click the embed code and I copy and paste this into my website. And I put it on my website and then when the viewer views that page, they'll see this video and they'll see this button appear that they can click to go to that actual page. If you'd like, we can preview it. Here it is, here's my little video, and if I hit play, let me jump ahead. Here it comes, take the survey now, blah, 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 blah. We know the actual website address, but boom, here's my button. What if I click it? Now I'm going to Acme, <laughs> and it's a dead end, but that's great. It went to where I told it to go. And that is how you can make a clickable link with Voomly. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can make your calls to action even more engaging and effective. Thanks for watching!